This is Kibi's litter. Apparently, I took the first video with my phone sideways and um, or upside down, and it didn't come out very well. So I'm redoing that video. This is Kibi's litter of five, born March 30th, 2019. The sire of this litter litter is uh, Grand Champion Karisimasu Honto of Kidlin. He's a cream and white, blue-eyed, van, male, short hair. And he makes wonderful babies. Kibi is a long-haired tortie, and she is very, very protective of her babies and won't let me touch them without hissing and spitting and acting out. So I've got her in a separate carrier so that I can take her pictures. She gets better as the kids get older and venture out of the box. But in the first two or three weeks, she's just like a lioness, and she will not let anybody near her babies. Okay, so the first one is a blue and white boy. And I know I know what his name's going to be if he goes where he's going to go, but I can't remember it right now. Maybe Marley. But there was another name. Anyhow, he's blue and white. He's a van, color just on the head and tail, and one body spot. That's it. But he's very cute, and when I pick him up, um, I can see flashes of red coming out of both eyes. That either means he's going to be blue-eyed, or it means he just carries the blue eyes that his father had. And I won't know for sure for a couple of weeks, but he's very sweet. He's very easygoing. He doesn't mind being picked up. He's got beautiful symmetrical markings. He's going to have a very pretty silvery-blue color. And that one is probably going to California. And the next one is red and white, or red tabby and white, because uh, even though genetically she's red and white, you can see tabby lines. So um, the CFA organization makes you register them as what they look like, not what they, what they are genetically. She is, again, I can see red coming out of both of her eyes, but I can't tell for sure yet whether it's just carrying it or, or is it. Uh, but she has very pretty uh, markings, very sweet face. Her coat is just unbelievable. It's so soft and so silky. And, um, yeah, this is the girl. She's got a very uh, pretty pattern with dramatic splotches of color, but... Um, Hopefully enough white that she should do well in the show ring. She has an absolutely perfect uh, fan pom-pom tail. That uh, should be great for the show ring. And her ears are down low, so I think they're going to be nice and high and forward setting. So this one might be for Iris in Texas. <clears throat> There's another red and white girl in the litter. Uh, she's definitely a short hair, and because I'm placing Kibi with one of her kids in a pet home, I'm going to keep this little red girl, red tabby and white. She's got a great tail, she's got a cute face, nice markings, and she's definitely a short hair, and I need to keep her so that I can continue with Kibi's line, and she'll be my little Kibi keepsake, so I might name her Keepsake. That would be cool in Japanese. Uh, then we have Kathy's boy. Yes, that's a boy. He is, this one eye isn't quite open yet. It's got, everybody opened their eyes over the weekend. And his one eye is just partially open. It's going to be open completely in a few minutes. I'm going to. Clean it up. It's got a little stickiness in there. Sometimes when they're opening their eyes, it takes a couple of days for them to fully open. Anyhow, he's got a really sweet face. He's very cute. He's got very dramatic markings and uh, a really nice pattern on his tabby. And um, his color is a very nice auburn. And he feels like he's going to be a long hair. I don't know for sure yet, but uh, he's a wonderful tail perfect little tail. He could definitely be shown in the premiership class, which is the class for neuters or spays in CFA Antica. But if not, he's going to be somebody's wonderful pet. Again, both of his eyes are throwing back red. Can't tell if he's 
going to have blue eyes or if he's just carrying it. So, but he's got really, he's going to have a dramatic, dramatic um, patterns. And um, he's very sweet too. Doesn't mind being handled. He's e eating well and he's going probably to Kathy. Kathy with his mom, Kiwi. And last but not least is a little cream and white. Her eye keeps going shut. You know, this is what happens when their eyes first start open. They're half open. Let me see if I can fix this. Um, they're half open for a few days, and then they, um, sometimes they get stuck shut. And that's just the process of opening eyes. Come on, sweetheart. I'm gonna put some, put some drops in there and make sure it's not gonna get an infection. But anyhow, she's a very beautiful. And when both eyes are open, as you can see in the other video, I did take another video and I put it online, and I realized I had taken it upside down, and so it's sideways online. So this is another video to try to better show the kittens right side up. Um, she's cream and white. Her eyes really show a lot of blue, uh, red reflection, so I've, I'm pretty sure she's going to be blue-eyed. Nice symmetrical markings. She looks like a short hair. She feels like a short hair. She's a little fluffy right now, but that's how they are as kittens. I'm, I don't know, 80%, 90% sure she's a short hair, but she could be a long hair. Only a few weeks will tell. Anyhow, she's a little cream and white, gorgeous little girl could be shown as well. She has a perfect little tail. And that's the group. And now they're right side up so everybody can see what they really look like. Say goodbye to all your potential moms and dads out there in the world. And I'll let Kiwi back in so you guys can have lunch.